Hello everybody! It's Saturday. Start of a weekend. And our long weekend of sales. So we're going to be doing that right after this. Never took a left. Terrible. All right, so today is Saturday, July 3rd, and uh, got the Pittsburgh American flag shirt on for today. We're having a little get together tonight, probably going to blow some stuff up, literally. Uh, fireworks are legal now in the great state of Pennsylvania. So we will be partaking this evening. So I have all 10 of my fingers now. Tomorrow, I may not. That's okay. It's all part of the celebration. <laughs> we do have some sales and we're gonna get into them right now starting with these. Wow, these are incredible. I, I don't think I'd wear them. I might, you know, I'm a little goofy sometimes, but I don't know about these. They are vintage YMLA silver metallic disco hip hop pants. Yes, <laughs> they are. Woo! Those are some bright. Well, they're not bright. I guess they're just flashy. That's what I'll call them. I gotta put my phone on silent. Silent. So give me a sec. Um, yeah, they are just like they feel like duct tape. I'll tell you that, and they look like tin foil. So. Um, awesome pants, 32, 32 is a size, uh, from the 90s, $15 for these, plus shipping. Sold a wallet, right over here, um, it's a Nautica wallet, we got that in our mystery box from a friend of ours, it's a Nautica wallet, new in the box, uh, $7 for the wallet, plus shipping. Real tree shirts. Sooner or later, we're going to get through them all. Another real tree shirt. Uh, this is a real tree, kind of America themed real tree shirt. Um, this sold for $7.50 plus shipping. Next up is this. Um, I'm going to have to put a picture of it here for you because it's in this tube. Um, this is an Egyptian papyrus um, pharaoh scene. It's a tour souvenir from Egypt. We got this at. Uh, the funeral home sale, oddly enough. There was some cool stuff from out of the country at that sale. Um, $15 for this. Plus shit. Next up, we can get a little creepy. This is a uh, vintage 1954 Vogue Ginny Straight Leg Walker doll. Here she is. She's, she's a little naked. And she's got a hair loss issue going on, I believe. Yeah. We got some hair loss going on. Um, anyways, uh, this is a Ginny Straight Walker doll. Uh, she walks and her head moves. As terrifying as this is, that's what she does. Um, $19.19 somebody said. No, I'm sorry. This was on auction and it sold for $19.19. Put her here so I don't have to look at her. Uh, next up, sold a dashiki. This is dashiki here. This is a jackpot dashiki. One size fits most, which means this won't fit me. This is uh, one right here. New with the tags. African dashiki. Well, we say Indian and or African. $12 plus shipping for this. Sold a record. Uh, sold a bunch of records, actually. Today. Back in the record business. I'm thrilled because I love shipping records. Um, this is Fleetwood Mac's greatest hit, uh, the newer pressing of this record, so it's not one of the vintage ones. Um, sold for $14, plus shipping. Next up, another record and another greatest hits. This is Billy Joel's greatest hits. It's a 2LP set. Um, if you guys see this record out there, it sells for really good money. Um, we were asking $35 for it, but because of our sale, it sold for $26, plus shipping. I guess we're gonna just keep the records flowing here. We sold a Charlie Daniels band, The Night Rider. I didn't even know we had this record. 
pretty cool. <laughs> the picture on the back. This guy right here does not look like he wants to be there. Like, just doesn't. The rest of them look somewhat happy, but he 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 doesn't even want to be there. <laughs> this uh, four dollars for this record plus shipping. <laughs> Next up, we sold a Ralph Lauren polo. Uh, pullover well i guess this is a zip full zip jacket yeah not a pullover a jacket um in expedition green men's size medium new with the tag uh sold for 45 dollars plus shipping ralph lauren polo sports stuff man that has some really good price prices attached to it sold a spoon yeah full spoon it's a pinocchio spoon right here how precious um, it's a commemorative spoon comes with a certificate of authenticity um, from the Franklin Mint uh, $6.35 plus shipping the Franklin Mint stuff every time I see it and I hear about it I'm always like oh Franklin Mint that's got to be good and it never has good soul comps ever I, I've, I've yet to find something from Franklin Mint that I really need to buy uh, this next thing has been with us for a very long time and quite frankly we are almost paying for this person to take it because of the sale this is a uh, 13 going on 30 the great movie which i don't even think i saw this movie uh doesn't look like my thing based on the pink cover and the, uh anyways 13 going on 30 sold for two dollars and fifty cents free shipping it's going to cost us two dollars and 48 cents to ship it out so we're making two cents on this movie and once we factor in the cost of whatever it is that we're going to ship it in, we are losing money. One of the downsides to sales is that things like that that you have marked way down to sell get marked down again, and then somebody buys them, and you go, whoops, and that's what happened with that. Uh, next up, this is a Bon Jovi Tour 2001. Uh, it's a local crew shirt, too, so it says staff on the back of it which is kind of cool uh and it didn't sell for that much money uh size extra large eight dollars and fifty cents for this plus shipping sold uh sarah sold a whole bunch of lip balm this this uh time around we've got vanilla avon lip balm right here and then we've got also flavor savers melon lip balm Woohoo! who doesn't need that in their life five dollars and fifty cents a piece Free shipping on those. Sold an Indianapolis Speedway program from 1982. Really cool piece of history here. Um, I was a mere two years old at that point. Um, official program, four dollars. Programs now, if you go to the ball game, are like 16 bucks. So that's a deal. Seven dollars free shipping. More lip balm. You got uh, this is that Dew Kiss, which is a very apparently very popular because the last two what solds have had Dew Kiss lip balm in them. Uh, Ten bucks plus shipping. This is a funny little thing. Sarah gave this a shot. She was at the dollar store and she bought some ring caps. You guys remember these? They go in a cap gun. Um, I didn't know they still sold them. I thought they were, you know, too dangerous. Um, but yeah. So they were each a dollar. One, two, three, four, five, six dollars. And uh, all six of these, 20 bucks plus shipping. We don't do a lot of sourcing at the dollar store, but we may start because that's a pretty good turnaround there. Sold a uh, vin vintage surfing company, Newport, Rhode Island, crew neck sweatshirt right here. Size medium, got this at the bins. Um, nine bucks plus shipping more records another billy joel was popular today this is glass houses by billy joel i wonder how many takes it took to get that pose probably a few um those jeans those are they're not bell bottoms i always thought they were bell bottoms but they they are not anyways uh billy joel glass houses it's him on the back with broken glass uh six dollars plus shipping got these at an auction um, uh, online auction and I didn't know anything about them I thought I'll take a chance on them and uh, we sold uh, we got them both for 30 bucks and 
This one is the Disney Music Box. They are limited edition music boxes. That's the sword and the stone right there. Really cool. Um, this is $38 right here, plus shipping. So we're already in the pure profit by eight bucks. Uh-oh. It seems to be working now. Oh, the cool thing about these is there's, uh, on the bottom, there is, they're numbered. Right there. Um, and uh, the other one we have actually has a handwritten number, and that one does not. But they have a, you know, a little COA with them and so forth. Um, if you see them, they seem to be pretty good sellers. Um, we have another one that's not a more, not as popular of a movie as this one is. So we're curious to see how that well that one sells. But 38 bucks, paid 30 for both of them. Not bad. Next up, another greatest hits record. We're <laughs> throwing out greatest hits records. This one I, I love. Tom Petty, greatest hits. May he rest in peace. Um, this has every Tom Petty album that, or every Tom Petty song. I mean, they're just all awesome. I mean, you guys can check out the playlist there. $24 plus shipping. Sold a Gap shirt. This is a purple and gray striped shirt. Uh, new with the tags, men's size medium, right here. Uh, six, five bucks plus shipping. More Vampirella. I gotta get my hands on some more of these. They sell great. Vampirella. This is uh, from 1974. Vampirella. Uh, what number is this? 34. Has her uh, red bathing suit back on. Uh, this is uh, 12 bucks plus shipping for that. Sold a baby doll head. And this one. Oh, well. Wow. If you're. Uh, if you're worried at all, you may want to turn away now. It's a crying baby doll, and it's disturbing in almost every way. Um, 15 bucks for crybaby here, plus shipping. Sold something I didn't even know they sold until just now. Um, this is a Trump Plaza doll, 22-inch. Georgina is her name. Uh, porcelain doll limited edition there's trump plaza donald trump owned the plaza hotel in new york city at one point um well i guess his organization owned it um and i guess they had these limited edition dolls this comes with a certificate of authenticity and it is a doll there's georgina right there um not a lot of money in these obviously uh but uh, like with most limited edition dolls that come in these boxes, for some reason, they're just not worth a ton of money. Um, this sold for 20 bucks, plus shipping. Sold this Dreamcast. We bought a Sega Dreamcast a while back, and I thought this thing would just fly out of here, and it did not. It sat around for quite a while, well, a month. So there's Sega Dreamcast right there. Um, tested it, works just fine. Um, it uh, comes with two controllers. For those of you that don't know about Sega Dreamcast, this was a system that came after Sega Genesis and Sega CD, but before, or well, I'm sorry, it came after Sega Genesis, Sega CD, after Sega Saturn, but slightly before PlayStation. So the downside to this system was when it came out, like six months went by and Sony released the PlayStation. Everybody went crazy for the PlayStation and nobody cared about the Dreamcast. So there's not a lot of games out for it. And it's a limited um, limited model because they didn't make a lot of them because it just it got destroyed by the PlayStation. The other reason it didn't do very well was this gigantic controller they gave you with they gave with the system. Um, this memory card went in here and it had like a little LCD display on it that showed you what was on it. It was just, and it's a terrible design. It's very, very large. My hands are not small and this thing is gigantic. So that was another big downside with the Dreamcast, but people do uh, collect them. And so we thought it would sell relatively quick. It did not. Sold it for $98 earlier today, plus shipping. Comes with two controllers. Um, the This one is uh, the factory controller, this is an aftermarket Mad Cat controller, but just, it's actually it's bigger than this one. <laughs> so, just when you think things can't get any larger, they get larger. But yeah, um, and it also came with a game, Soul Calibur, right here. One of the more popular games for this system. Um, it was a really cool system in its time, but the PlayStation just destroyed it back then. So, 
is what it is. Next up, a Barbie. It's down here. This is a 35th anniversary Barbie. It is a reproduction of the very first Barbie. Right here. Um, th that's pretty much what the very first Barbie looked like. Um, $24.50 plus shipping. Next up is this. This is a Women's Empire tie lace shirt. Um, this is a women's size medium maroon and gray. This actually went to a viewer and uh, this went out to Sean. Sean, thanks so much for the purchase. We really appreciate it. We are going to throw in some Pittsburgh picker stickers. I, they are blocked in. They're normally right here and I can grab them, but they are blocked in currently by some lip balm. So, Sean, you'll be getting the shirt and I'm going to throw in some stickers for you. Thank you so much for the purchase. Sold for $5. Free shipping. Hello everybody, welcome to Sunday, July 4th, happy 4th of July. Um, we did a lot more in sales than we thought we would yesterday and today, so guess the sales working. Um, you know, that was kind of our plan to keep the business up going into the July 4th holiday. It seemed to work. So, first on the list is this, um, this is a Field and Stream Mossy Oak Breakup Country Smart wick shirt looks like just a camo shirt to me but <laughs> i'm sure there's some technology that's worn for hunting and so forth so just a mossy oak new with tags shirt um men's size medium sold for six dollars plus shipping sold a, another band t-shirt this is the goo goo dolls um 2014 tour right here uh, men's extra large sold for ten dollars and five cents plus shipping sold a dashiki this one is uh, an orange blue and black dashiki uh, right here uh, this one sold for ten bucks plus shipping next up one of those little shoes again um, this is rose court 1998 just the right shoe right here just uh, kind of like a multicolored heel, I guess. Uh, this sold for nine dollars and sixty cents plus shipping. Sold a pair of jeans. This is a uh, Ralph Lauren polo jeans. New with tags. Um, these are size thirty-four, thirty. Sold for twenty-two dollars plus shipping. Sold a set of. Uh, we're not sure if these are Corning wear or Pyrex, but uh, was a little sugar bowl here. It's got a little lid on it. And then we've got uh, a cream, creamer one right here. has also a little lid on it. Um, $19.60 for the pair, plus shipping. Sold some Tupperware. Um, we got these at an auction. I'm sorry. I think we got these at the garage sale. Um, so these are two-piece Tupperware sets. This is green uh, and yellow. Bought one there for $15. And then they bought another set. We have down here both orange. Um, these are orange canisters, number 1205. And then the other ones are 1204, surprisingly enough. Um, also for $15. So altogether, $30 plus shipping for all of that. Had a buyer buy a few random things from us. This is a uh, vintage kaleidoscope right here. And then. Uh, <laughs> This has been with us for a while. I'm surprised it stuck around, to be honest with you. Uh, it's a leg lamp, Christmas tree ornament. And then they, uh, for, so for those two items, they paid $15.20, and then they bought two more items. They bought the Christmas poo. <laughs> it's like a Christmas poo in it. Uh, maybe the batteries have died. Let's see. Yeah. No, oh, no. We took the batteries out. Um, it just kind of sings and dances and yeah, it's a Christmas poo with a crown on it. <laughs> and uh, last thing is this vintage punched tin round flower wall hanging. It's upside down. There it is. It's just kind of like a piece of tin that someone punched about a bunch of holes in. It made it look like a flower. How clever. Uh, and paid $14 for the pair there. Next up, sold some more jeans. Um, these are Express Men's jeans. These were really cool. I think we uh, got these in a lot with some active wear. 
Um, these are Express Men's jeans. They're kind of faded all the way down. It's pretty interesting. Uh, 12 bucks for these, plus shipping. Sold a pin. This is a googly-eyed peanut pin. Yeah. That's pretty much what it is, too. It's a peanut with googly eyes on it. <laughs> it's a pin. Six dollars for the googly-eyed peanut pin. Plus shipping. Uh, sold some more philosophy. Uh shampoo and body wash this is uh the basil and cucumber cooler nineteen dollars and fifty cents free shipping on that so the batman 66 volume four um we get these at all these bargain outlet this is batman 66 number four right here brand new sold for ten dollars and 31 cents plus shipping sold a cabbage patch we got a large shipment of cabbage patch Sarah won them on an online auction. They showed up yesterday, and this is actually the first one to sell. This little girl here. Um, this is a 1980s Cabbage Patch doll. Uh, blue eyes, brown hair with two teeth. She sold for $22 plus shipping. Next up, we sold these seal meal bags. Uh, we got these at an estate sale. Quite a while back. Wouldn't pay much for them, maybe a buck uh, or two. Um, these are just like uh, <coughs> uh, vacuum seal bags, basically, um, just for a certain machine. So $10 for these, for uh, three of them. So three of them right here. Free shipping. Sold some more heads. This one is not creepy, though. Um, this is like a Victorian head, um, four and a half inches Victorian head right here. Um, this sold for $15, plus shipping. Sold another dashiki right here. Uh, just a red, black, um, kind of a tribal style dashiki. It's got some figurines on it and so forth. Um, $18 for that, plus shipping. Sold some Spirit of 76 t uh, stickers. Perfect day for that. Right here. Um, $4 for the stickers, plus shipping. And last for today, down here, um, this is uh, Victoria's Secret pink yoga pants uh, shorts, size extra small, right here. Sold for six dollars plus shipping. Hello, everybody, welcome back. Today is the final day of our long weekend of sales. Today is Monday, July 5th, and uh, the final day of our sale as well. Uh, it was a good one. Uh, we did really good today, too, so I don't know. I might want to run a sale all the time, but um, yeah, so we got uh, some sales to go over, starting with this. Um, more from that doll collection. This is uh, a reproduction of uh, Victorian era German painted porcelain doll head. Looks like an old lady to me, but uh, yeah, we got that. Sold some Levi's. Not the kind of Levi's you're thinking. These are twill pants is what we're calling them. I guess they're kind of like a thinner corduroy or something like that. They're Levi's regular 505 brown cotton twill pants size 34, 32. Um, they look like they're brand new. They look like they've never been worn. Um, sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. Sold some towels. Um, these are vintage towels. Um, they were actually all in a box together, um, like kind of a gift box. Um, but the lady had asked if we could ship them just out of the box, so we did. Um, just some vintage hand towels here. Um, these sold for $18, plus shipping. Sold a vintage Pyrex dish, number 0503, one and a half quart refrigerator dish. Butterfly gold, what we're calling it. Right there, comes with the lid, right here. Um, $24 for the Pyrex, plus shipping. Sold some shoes. <laughs> Kind of in the shoe shoe world lately, we've been uh, experimenting a little bit. If we can find things with tags on them, we tend to buy them. These are women's Clarks uh, leather shoes, size six and a half medium. There they are here. Um, these took a long time to sell, just so you know. So if you do see them out there, um, I think the size had a little bit to do with them. They're a little tiny, six and a half is small. Um, Hundred bucks retail on these things. We sold them for sixteen dollars plus ship. You guys remember the first good fair box we got we got that single stitch 
unicorn shirt. Well, it finally sold. <laughs> there it is. Um, single stitch vintage unicorn shirt, uh, probably from the early 90s. Um, $15 for the shirt, plus shipping. Still doesn't make that box good. <laughs> That's for sure. Sold a Barbie. We do have a lot of Barbies, um, and we're selling through them. This is Kenyan Barbie here. Uh, one of the uh, Dolls of the World collection. Um, this one sold for $16 plus shipping. Sold a, all of a doll, but in pieces. This is um, vintage composition ritzy, ritzy chubby baby doll. Here's her torso. We also sold with her some legs. These are her legs. <laughs> and her arms. So we sold the whole doll just uh, in pieces. <laughs> so here's Chubby Baby Doll Natural Doll Company. Uh, we put needs repair. Still, like this. And she's kind of broken on the bottom there. Um, 50 bucks plus shipping. Sold some jeans. I know. Don't do that very often. Um, these are Lucky Brand jeans right here. These are size 32, 34, Lucky Brand 121s. Uh, slim men's jeans, $24 for these. Plus shipping. Sold a fair amount of uh, records. Ooh. Sold a fair amount of records, too. Uh, this is... England, Dan, and John Ford Coley. Dr. Heckle and Mr. Jive. Uh, three bucks plus shipping. Sold some Avon Advanced Techniques Daily Shine Shampoo. There it is right here. Um, two of them. Uh, 18 bucks. Free shipping for these. Sold a Guardians of the Galaxy record. This is a Guardians of the Galaxy Deluxe Vinyl Edition. Right here. It's got some really good songs on it. Hooked on a Feeling. Uh, Go All the Way. Let's see. Um, I Want You Back by the Jackson 5. Cherry Bomb. Ooh Child. Um, Ain't No Mountain High Enough. So, yeah. There's some good songs on this. Um, I bought it for myself a while ago and uh, just haven't listened to it in a while. So we decided to sell it. $18 plus shipping. Sold a, a Who shirt. This is not vintage. Um, this is the Who Live. Um, I think we got this one um, at the bins. I think we found it at the bins. Uh, it may have come from that collection of shirts we bought. $8 for this, plus shipping. Sold a winter jacket. It's actually right here behind me. Um, it's amazing this stuff sells in the summertime, but this is a winter jacket. Columbia winter jacket, new with the tags. Has a hood with fur on it as well. Um, it is a size large. Sold it for forty dollars plus shipping, and that's a steal because this is a hundred dollars retail. So, um, pretty good deal there. We got to move that, so that's pretty good. Uh, sold James Taylor record as well, right here. This is uh, James Taylor greatest hits first pressing, nineteen seventy six. Sold for six dollars and forty cents plus shipping. Sold a heritage book. We're about through these things. We don't have very much left. This is Twice Told Tales. Right here. Um, this one sold for $9.50. I'm sorry, $9.60. My bad. Plus shipping. Sold another one of those mini shoes. This is Just the Right Shoe Collection. Uh, Courageous Rose. Can't wait to see what this looks like. Oh, it's in plastic. <laughs> Well, we're going to have to take it out of there, aren't we? There we go. Whoa. <laughs> That's... I don't think anybody would wear this. <laughs> but it's like a high heel with, a, like, roses. Yeah. Anyways, you get the picture. Um... $11.60 for that one. So that's a, that's a good one. Plus shipping. Next up, sold a towel. Another towel. This is a 1960s vintage linen towel right here. Um, just got kind of a floral pattern on it. Uh, five bucks plus shipping for that. Sold some doll parts again. Um, these are doll parts. 
We got some legs right here. <laughs> and we've got some arms right here. Some arms. Um, for those, 20 bucks plus shipping. And uh, keep the the thing going. This is all. This all went to one person. Somebody reached out and wanted to buy quite a few of these things. So um, this is an antique reproduction German doll head, right here. Again, looks kind of like an old lady to me. Uh, for fifteen dollars, and then another one, right here, a little bigger. This one looks like, well, maybe one of our founding fathers. Um, Ten dollars plus shipping for that one. And then we got something else that's breakable here. That's to say, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of bubble wrap going on after this video. Um, we sold that last Disney music box. We got two of these at an online auction. This is the one I wasn't sure was gonna sell. We paid thirty dollars for both of these. Um, last one was a Sword in the Stone, and then this one is Rescuers Musical Memories Disney Limited Edition. This is number five thousand one hundred sixty out of. 19,750. This one actually has the number handwritten on the bottom there. Kind of cool. Uh, comes with a COA as well. Uh, 40 bucks for that one. Plus shipping. And last for today, uh, we sold that last label maker. This is a Brother P Touch um, model PT80 label making printer. Right here. Uh, we got these at that garage sale where they recognize me. $14 free shipping for the label maker. And that's it, guys, for our long weekend of sales. Um, we are still climbing to 1,000. Pretty excited about that. So if you haven't, really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. We do do great things other than just tell you what's sold. We do go to the Goodwill bins. We go to flea markets, garage sales, and so forth. So um, would really appreciate it. If you click that subscribe button for me, it really helps this channel out to grow. And if you like this video, give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that as well. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Good day, sir.